Okay, enough. You want to come out here now? It's enough. It's enough. It was a good one. Yeah. It was a good one. It's a beautiful day out today. I'm recording this just as the sun's getting ready to go down. And it got to be 60 degrees today without a single cloud in the sky. So that promise that we had earlier in the week of the beautiful, beautiful bright blue skies, but it was only barely freezing. Well, the promise came true today. Those same skies, but with a temperature that was just like, leave the coats at home. I love it when you can start getting outside again without layers of clothing. So it was a very good day, weather-wise. Church? Well, notice I'm not waving a program in order of service in your face tonight. I didn't write anything down today. Hey, it happens sometimes. The premise of the sermon was certainly an interesting one, and one I'm very familiar with. And that is the concept of the hero, the hero and the heroine. And what of us is the hero on the journey? What our journey is and what about us is heroic. But it kind of went nowhere. Kind of went nowhere. So every now and then there'll be a service like that. But here's the neat thing. For the first time, I enjoyed the gathering after church. Actually, that started even before. Our sanctuary is considered to be a quiet sanctuary, which means before church services, if you get there early and you want to sit quietly, you can do that. We're not supposed to talk. It's very hard not to do that, but we're not supposed to. And because there's the gathering room to be talking in if you want to do that. So I went in and sat down. I love that quiet time before service. And I'm sitting there, and the gentleman that I met at the meditation organization meeting came up next to me and asked if he could sit with me. His partner was helping out with the service, and since his partner would be up front and he would be alone, basically, he asked if he could sit with me. He says, I don't like sitting alone. Well, this man knows everybody at church, so he could sit with whoever he wanted to. But I thought it was awfully sweet of him since we had just met this week, to spend some time sitting with me. And it was pretty cool, actually. He is one of the gentlest, sweetest souls I've ever been around. You just feel his energy at such an unbelievably... If Serenity were a person, it'd be my new friend Don. Let's just put it that way. So sitting next to him for the quiet time and throughout the service was a very warm and welcoming kind of feeling. But after the service, it's gotten to where I know enough people that I don't feel like odd person out going back into the gathering room for socializing after church. There are folks I want to catch up with, I have questions to ask, there are folks who want to catch up with me, <laughs> questions to ask of me. And it was um, the first time I didn't have to force myself to stay in the gathering room. The only thing I felt bad about is there was a young fellow that I met a couple of weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago or so now. He and his wife are visiting, and I mentioned him in a previous vlog. He, um, he's a drummer, and... He was going to start bringing his drum after services to see if anybody would like to join him. It's his way of getting to know people because he's, um, I won't say shy. I'm just not sure what his common ground is. And it was a way for him to maybe establish something that others might connect with. And I felt really bad. I forgot totally about taking Ome with me to church. And he did have his drum afterwards. And it was uh, uh, lovely because he went down by the edge of the pond and drum to himself, and it did call people to wander down. Just listen to his drumming for a bit to introduce themselves and introduce themselves to him. 
and it was lovely to see. It's something as simple as beating out a melody on a drum, a rhythm on a drum. It's kind of like a, a fire that can call people towards you. It was neat to see. So I really enjoyed the after time at church today, even though the service itself left me with nothing to ponder or consider. Met some new people, both new people in the church I hadn't met yet, and then some people who were visiting. So I got to meet new people in general. So it was a very good day. And I knew when I came back from the church that there would be a long golf cart ride that was going to be most of my afternoon. The Hubs has been very excited at this shift in weather. He told me last night, I'm going to charge the golf cart. Charge the battery, that is. Because we knew the temperature was going to be beautiful today for a ride about the neighborhood. I was in the mood for it. I was in the mood for it. And what I mean about being in the mood for it is you don't go for a ride with Roger without stopping to talk to everything on two legs that you run across. And I was in the mood for it. It was a good afternoon spent catching up with neighbors. So a very good thing. That's really about it for the day. We went out to dinner tonight. You hear that a lot, don't you? Yep, coupons. And that place feels like home to us. It's a place where we know the manager and all the waiters by name. And um, we really enjoy going there. It's very family to us. And that's it for the day. I plan on reading for a while. I have some emails to catch up on. I need to make a dent in my emails. I've, it's been so beautiful outside that I haven't been online. I go online to upload these videos and that is all I've been online for. So I've kind of like been disconnected from everything. Um, not because anything's wrong, but because I just haven't been online. Spring does that to me. It does. I can't think of anything else that's going on. There'll be some tiny moments because I did see some pretty things today. Oh, and this is funny. Well, I hope you'll think it's funny. It's been a weird week, I have to admit. Comments on my channel and comments on my videos. And you won't see any of the comments on my videos. They got me to think, and it's a weird week on YouTube because I've removed the comments and blocked the people who left them. Let's just say it's been an odd one. It's been an odd one. Not necessarily in a bad way, but as usual with some of these kinds of things leaves me scratching my head. And the reason I'm mentioning that is those who disagree with me rudely or have a different opinion but state their opinion in, in that um, I'm stupid because my opinion is different, we all know it's easy to delete and block them. And it's always a mystery. Why are they even called to your videos or to comment on them to begin with? Don't they have anything better to do with their lives? We often ask ourselves that question when it comes to these kinds of people, don't we? Well, we want to know the answer, too. They don't have lives to get back to. <laughs> they create it by this uh, odd collection of activities that they pursue online. But an interesting thing this week is I had three different comments. Two were in a... How did it go? One was on a video. One was an email I got in YouTube and one was, it? one was a channel comment. I didn't even know you could still make channel comments to tell you the truth. I need to look and see because if I've been getting channel comments I haven't noticed them and I'm being rude and not responding to people. But anyway, they were all about things from the quality of my videos, meaning they think they should be higher quality, they should be more structured, and we're talking about the top, not the topic videos, we're talking about the vlogs. They were all comments about the vlogs. And it was just very interesting that why would anybody be looking at anybody's vlogs if they're not interested in the rambly kind of thing that a blog is? Yeah. But the couple that caught my attention, only because I thought they were such oddities, the comments, that is. I don't know if the persons are oddities or not. I refrain from that kind of judgment. Are those who were making comments about too much of my videos had nature pictures in them? But that's not what they were watching my videos for. <laughs> so what do you think they are watching my videos for? Because they must not be very fond of me. And another who said, this is the one that interested me. That's why this tangent 
that went off to nowhere about what a weird week for comments on YouTube. Someone told me they were tired of seeing the pictures of the same things in my daily vlogs. That if I were going to be aiming the camera and sharing images with folks, I should be aiming to, to shoot different things because it was getting rather boring seeing the same things. Well, now. <laughs> Again, tiny moments are at the end of most of my videos. I'm thinking they waited through my entire video, got to that point, and made that comment about all of my vlogs. And I thought it was interesting because it led me to consider. I do take pictures of some of the same things over and over again. I'm going to assume that anyone who would come to my channel that would make a comment along those lines, haven't I seen that before or whatever, doesn't share a path even similar to mine. If nothing else, what I think most of us share, you and me, if you have come to my vlogs through my pagan-centered topics, we share a love of the earth and all animal and plant beauty upon it. And one of the things that fascinates a lot of us, oh, it fascinates all of us that walk a similar path to me, is nothing is the same thing day to day, including ourselves, when we start doing the work of discovering ourselves. We're not the same from moment to moment or day to day, certainly not year to year. So I was. Interested in this post person's comment that they felt they were seeing too many of the same pictures. Well, they're not seeing the same pictures because I share with you pictures from the day. If I ever share a picture with you that's not of the current day, there's a reason and I tell you where it was from or why I'm sharing it now. And at all, in general, that I share is what I've encountered in my walks, my drives, and my journeys through any given day. And there is such power in knowing your land so well that what captures your eye is anything that reveals it in a different way. The same tree, with or without its cloak of leaves. The same shadow, cast by the same sh tree, short or long, as the angle of the sun changes, or the moon seen through its branches. If anyone gets to point my video that they think they're seeing too many pictures of the same thing, the first thing is if they're seeing the same thing, and they don't look at the world through the same eyes that I do, and that the vast majority of you do. We know our small things, and we know our small things well. We appreciate the changing of the seasons, and the changing of the sun in the day's time, with moon and the moon shadow at night. Nothing's ever the same day to day. When I take the pictures for tiny moments, it's something that captured my attention in that tiny moment. Something is different in some way than it was the last time I looked at it. And the reason I wanted to mention this, not as a tangent about what a goofy week it's been for comments, yeah, that's just a, a bit of a sidebar entertainment for me for the week to wonder what the heck is going on out there this week with people. But it is, instead, in light of these comments, if it were one, I probably wouldn't have paid any attention, but it was several about my tiny moment capturings. What it led me to think about is why I take the picture of the same tree or Henry, the blue heron, over and over again. For the same reason the vast majority of you do, or what if you had a camera in hand? We notice the tiny shifting and changing from sun up to sundown, or week to week, or season to season, on the land we love. We have that in common, I dare say. Almost all of you who watched my vlogs. Even those of you who have come to my vlogs 
because you've been exploring vlogging channels and may or may not be connected to the topic videos I do with earth-based and pagan spirituality. Many of you, because you've enjoyed my tiny moments, are sharing with me the wonder and the mystery that you experience in the tiny moments of your lives. No matter we might call ourselves by different names when it comes to our spirituality. So all that off wandering tangential discussion about strange YouTube comments this week has been that they led me to this wonderful tiny moment. Knowing that so many of us, no matter our varied religious expressions, share the wonder of the infinite and constantly changing shadings of the world which surrounds us. Yep, you're gonna keep seeing pictures of a lot of the same things and new things along the way. And what I'm celebrating is almost all of you totally understand the beauty of that. It was a very good day. And I'm recording this to add to this mini video, just in case you can't hear me in the video because it was windy. And that is this car. We watched the two ladies that were in this car take 15 to 20 minutes to park it tonight. We've seen them in the restaurant before, and they are the sweetest old ladies. They're well into their 80s, not even close to the 80 end of 80 very senior citizens. And what is beautiful about them is they come out dressed to the nines with their makeup on and their hair perfect and they're wearing their, I bet all from QVC, jewelry. They have those perfectly matched outfits. Everything except the tennis shoes they're wearing. <laughs> they are beautiful, beautiful old ladies. They always have wine with their dinner. And their conversation is heard by the entire restaurant because they're both rather deaf. Well, we happen to have a window seat at the restaurant tonight when they pulled up, or kind of pulled up. <laughs> what you saw in this picture, in this video I'm sharing with you, was the result of 20 minutes of effort to get that car parked somewhere vaguely near a parking space. I'd like to say it was endearing, but the flip side of that is, oh my gosh, we are on the road with those ladies when they are driving. <laughs> and it was just something that we watched with our mouths open from the restaurant window as they backed it forth and back and forth and back and forth, and then stopped even farther out than where it is in the video. And one got out to look, got back in and told her friend something. They shifted it around for a while. The other one got back out, looked again, got back in the car, told her friend something. They shifted it around 20 minutes later. This is how they parked their car. Here's to all the gloriously old people in the world to these two especially tonight. May God us watch over you and protect you. And maybe even perhaps protect others from you. <laughs> In the case of these two, who are going to be leaving that restaurant about this time, we got out before them so we didn't have to share the road with them. Oh, the interesting challenges and celebrations of growing old. I know God us will watch over these two. But really, there's something that just entertained the hell out of the both of us tonight. Watching them park by committee and seeing where they ended up even after all that effort. Goddess bless them.